An RTD bus can take you almost anywhere in the LA area. Recently, I took a bus to sample Southern California's transportation future. This train station in Glendale is a lovingly restored reminder of the golden age of passenger trains, but today, it's also an important part of Southern California's transportation future. A new passenger train era is about to arrive. It's called Metrolink, and we're going to take an exclusive preview ride. What? Not bad. Filled to capacity, a Metrolink train holds 303 commuters. Eventually, the system will have 70 cars rolling along at almost 80 miles an hour. Each train has two levels. They're air-conditioned, quiet and comfortable, driven by low-pollution diesel electric engines. And best of all, commuters will be free from fighting traffic jams. There'll be time to relax and get ready for a day's work and then unwind on the way home. The executive director of Metrolink for the Los Angeles County Transportation Commission is Richard Stanger. We need Metrolink because you have a very high percentage of growth in the outlying areas. You have Riverside County increased 76% in population in 10 years, San Bernardino County 56%, we have Moreno Valley that's 300% growth in 10 years, Moore Park 230% growth in 10 years. And these people, although they're living out there, 87% of the Southern California jobs still are in Los Angeles and Orange County. So they're living out and they're having to go back to the jobs, but there is no increased capacity on the freeway system. As a result, the congestion is getting more and more difficult and the need for alternatives to freeway travel is what this is all about. Converging on downtown Los Angeles, Metrolink will open service with three lines. From Moore Park East across the San Fernando Valley, north from the Santa Clarita Valley through Burbank, and from the east from Pomona through the San Gabriel Valley. Trains will be regularly scheduled during rush hours, and fares will be kept affordable with the help of government subsidies. With more than 400 route miles and 60 stations, the completed Metrolink system could remove as many as 40,000 cars from Southern California's congested highways. This is Historic Union Station, the end of our private tour and the hub of Southern California's new Metrolink system. Union Station is in the heart of a transportation building boom. And down the line, there's a lot waiting for future commuters. In a few years rising behind Union Station, a vast new complex called Gateway Center will be built. Here, LA's emerging 21st century transportation system will join together. The key to the success of new transit systems like Metrolink will be an enhanced network of bus lines connecting train commuters to their final destinations. Steve Perry is the Director of Scheduling and Operations Planning for the RTD. Approximately 200,000 people a day cross into the downtown boundaries on RTD bus. Over 50% of those at the key time during rush hour. The Metrolink system will supplement that number by bringing even more people into the downtown on public transit. All of this is part of a comprehensive rapid transit system that was approved by the voters when they looked and approved Propositions A and Proposition C, each providing a half-cent sales tax inside the county of Los Angeles. Those monies are at work. Far-sighted public investments like Metrolink are essential to Southern California's environmental and economic future, and the opening of the system in October 1992 promises the beginning of an easier, more convenient way of life for thousands of Southern California commuters. Metrolink is a fast, convenient, environmentally sensitive alternative to congested, freeway-fixated Southern California. From now on, getting there will be easier than ever. Well, I've got to go. My bus is here. See you later. Thank you.